What is up, y'all? On Massey back here, another video. Uh, today, we're doing an oil change on the 2014 Honda Civic LX. The Civic gang at the house, check it out. Three Civics. We ballin', hashtag gas mileage. This one has the uh, the 1.8 liter, four banger, 2.4. I probably should make a video on that one soon, too. Uh, the service light popped up, so it is due. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started on this. Let's jack it up. All right, so got it jacked up. I put the uh, jack stands on the pinch welds and I always leave this one still touching uh, for three points of contact. I'm always just scared. Um, so, we, uh, so we gotta make sure to pop off the oil cap. Gotta get that quality airflow whenever we drain it. Put that in a safe spot. That looks safe enough. Always have dirty rags ready. Let's see where it's at. So, this looks complicated, so you know what that means. We are gonna have to take off this stupid skid plate. <laughs> and it'll definitely be under here. It looks like just two little, two screws and this just slides back. All right, so it'd be weird to show, but got the plates off. <clears throat> there was one, you know, right here, and then another bolt actually, like up here. Yeah, you can see that there, crisscross, bam. I hate skid plates. Anyways, <laughs> so here is the drain plug. I was over here checking out the engine just cause you know, I have two other ones I'm best with so I was interested. This is a freaking puny motor. Um, CVT on this one, uh, whack. <laughs> uh, so yep, there's the drain plug and then the oil filter is just chilling right there. Not bad, it's actually pretty good locations. I was not, not having much faith cause I know like on the D-Series Honda, it's way up here. You gotta like reach up and really, really strain. You don't have so much space either. This is nice. This is real nice. Um, so I gotta convince my mom to do a, uh, a resonator delete soon here. Um, the cat's up there. We gotta do a resonator delete. Peace out, fam. That is just one pipe away. Uh, I need to stop looking. That's dangerous. Anyways, um, so yeah, about to figure out which size this is. Get the pan ready and uh, let her rip. I'm gonna let her rip. Third time's the charm. It's a 17. Here's a cool little trick I can teach you. Oh shit. You use uh, you get a ratchet, you get a wrench, you slide it on like so, and then you use more leverage. Bam. This is why you don't go to a shop, people. Don't get your shit done at a shop. Do it yourself. There we go. All right. Ooh. All right, so we still gotta drop the oil filter, um, but this pan is actually pretty dang full. So I gotta drain this before I do it because I don't know how much is actually gonna be in the filter. Um, but I wanted to make a point, whenever you re-tighten it, just make it barely tight, okay? Not loose, but barely tight. Um, it doesn't need to be freaking cranked down with a torque convert, okay? Like, shops, are you listening? You don't have to crank this thing down with all your fucking might, all right? <laughs> it's gonna be fine. <sighs> Perfect. Ooh. Here's the one I got. I got the uh, STP deal at AutoZone. Full synthetic 
OW20 with the uh, STP XL S6607 XL. All right, so if you're doing your car's oil for the first time, most likely a shop has done it for you already. In the past of the ownership, um, it's gonna be terrible getting stuff off, FYI. You know, you saw me how to do that trick with the wrench on the socket. Um, now I have to whip out the freaking, the claw arm to get the oil filter because it is on there. Okay, same thing, you don't have to tighten it till you die, all right, relax. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Also, always check, see that little black, black O-ring? Make sure that stays on this and it's not stuck on the car because if you double up where you have this one stuck on the car and the new one from the new filter, it's gonna be a bad day. Um, bad things can happen. I can't remember exactly, but do not <laughs> leave both because I know it's catastrophic. All right, uh, just make sure that's there and you're good. And then what I do, get a little oil. You could do new or used and put it on the uh, O-ring a little bit just so it's smoother, uh, more secure. You know what I mean? It's not dry, you know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, let's get a little bit of, a little bit of that. Cool. Now a little juiced up. Slide it back in place. Do not cross thread it. All right, make sure to wipe everything down. Um, sure you get all the oil off everything because if you leave oil on there and it gets hot it's going to smoke and then you're going to start tripping out that's good cool all right looks like everything's pretty done just got to uh, clear out my space down here and then um, turn the, uh, fill up oil and uh, start her up all right, ready to fill up. I got a STP's full synthetic OW20. Um, it says to fill up with 3.9 quarts. And this is probably a five quart, five quart deal. Yeah, uh, yeah, five quart deal. So almost all of it, let's get it done. All right, so everything's emptied out, cleaned up. I'm gonna show you how to uh, clear your, you're gonna see a, bam. Okay, so you probably got this, this is why you're doing this in the first place. Um, so what you'll do is, you'll go to uh, source, no, psych, that's a lie, you go to menu, <laughs> menu, vehicle information, maintenance info, and you can see, you just hold down the uh, source button to reset all life. Bam. Bam, 100% all life, menu to exit. There you go. And then you just uh, write down your mileage and uh, you know, you know the rest, 5K, do it again. All right, y'all, everything's all buttoned up on the Civic here. Um, hopefully it helped you out. Hopefully you did enjoy as well. I should be making a video on the 2.4, the SI, uh, here real soon. So stay tuned for that. And if you need that, uh, I guess you'll search it. There you go. <laughs> hopefully you did enjoy. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.
Fuck me. <clears throat> Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs>